Hello, ho, Hannah Lani here. So today we are going to be doing a banner and channel. Oh wait, <laughs> we're going to be doing a channel banner and profile picture tutorial. So I thought about making this like two separate videos, but then I was like, no, we'll just do like a two-in-one special because you know I just love you guys that much. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. So I already have my background chosen, I already edited it up. So I'm just going to. To open a canvas in PixArt and I'm gonna make it the banner size which is 2560 pixels by 1440 pixels and you're just gonna push OK and here's the banner and then I'm gonna import the background here it is and I love it so we're gonna push click yes and then um, I'm just gonna save it and now we're gonna go into Fonto. Here we are in Fonto, and I'm just going to add the text. So I'm just gonna change the color, add some stroke to it. Hello, stroke, hello. And then I'm gonna add the other text. And I'm gonna add some emojis. And I'm added these emojis as well. And yes, the answer is yes. I already had this pre-prepped because it took me so long to get it right, you know what I mean? Like the the style and stuff. Unlike how I wanted it to be. So of course I saved it. Um so here it is. And the way to add shadow to emojis is very simple. Let me show you. You just gotta click add text select the emoji of your choice we're just gonna go with this um little monkey and you're just gonna push style then style yet again and do a shadow i'm gonna choose this one and i'm just gonna move it this way up a little bit and now it looks like it's behind and just lower the opacity and here it is that's how you add shadow with your emojis um so yeah i just did that and now I mean, before you put like a filter on it or anything, put this version in YouTube Studio and then let's say it's like off or like it's like too high or it's like cutting off some of your text. Easy fix. Just select everything in Fonto and you can move it any which way you want. Let's say it needs to go more this way or this way or down or up. It's a really easy fix. And then once you get it to the position you want, then I recommend you put color tone. Let's just save that. Perfect. And now we're going to go into color tone. So here we are in color tone. And I'm just going to import my image. Here it is. Add. And now we're just going to add the filters. I love using Seychelles, but it's a little bit too much for me. So I'm just going to turn it down to about like 90 because I feel like that looks so much better. I mean, I don't know if you could tell the difference, but. I'm gonna be looking at this like every day, you know what I mean? So I need to be happy with it. I'm very happy with it, so I'm just gonna export it, download it, and there it is. Um, and this is how you um, import it into YouTube Studio. And then you see how it looks on all the devices, and it looks great to me. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it took me a couple of tries to get it right. And now we're gonna start the profile picture. So let me open the Toka app. Here it is. And it's loading because you know. And now I'm gonna click the downtown loft because I have a green screen in this um, house. So yeah. Let me grab my little OC. And now I'm just gonna put like a little emotion on her. Sorry, I did, I'm, I'm like paranoid that it's like not recording, so I always have to check. And I'm just gonna put that emotion and drag and drop. And I took a screenshot and look at that pose. It's like the literal perfect profile picture pose. So I'm gonna push done, save to photos. And now we're gonna go to Magic Eraser, which is the background eraser app that I use. Um, 
I use the free version, not the premium, so don't worry. Everything you see in this video is free. Um, then you're going to click import your image and you're going to erase the background. I like to put the wand tool to about like 58% because I feel like that looks really good. And just select the other two parts and save it. And now we're going to go into Ibis Paint X. So here we are in Ibis. The, the size of the profile picture dimensions is 1280 by 1280. As long as you're happy with how this looks, with the dimensions I give you, it everything should be fine. Um, push done. So let's go to my channel so you guys can see what it looks like at the end. So this is the final look. I feel like it looks really good. Super nice. Um, this is, this just, yes, I love it. I'm in love with this new look. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's all for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, make sure to comment down below any questions you might have. Um, I'll be sure to answer them. Um, or any other tutorials you would like to see. And we'll see you tomorrow. Remember, always be you. Bye, Ohana!